Hey guys, I'm going to show how to get the fuel injector electrical connectors off on these Hondas. And so this is what they typically look like. Um, and to give yourself better access, sometimes you'll move out this little wiring harness bracket out of the way. Whatever bolts they are, usually like 10 mils or something. Um, and then this is like a speed sensor cable, just getting this out of the way so I have better access. Um, but basically, you can see that there's two little... Um, metal tabs on either side of this and so the way you get it out is if you come in with a flathead or a pick basically you want to like see if you can put this guy in there and then just use it to press it out like that and you're going to do the same thing on the other side just very carefully hopefully it's in focus we're just pushing the metal out of the way and once it's up like that you should be able to lift up on this guy and get access to it. So give me one second, I'll get that other one out of the way and then we'll be able to see what this thing should look like. All right, so the other one's out of the way and now this guy can lift up just like that. And so if you're testing the resistance going to a particular injector in this car, now you would just connect your probes to those two pins and in my case, factory service manual says I should be reading between 1.5 and 2 uh, ohms. So on this guy, I'm going to uncoil it. I'm going to set resistance to the uh, 200 mark right there. Confirm this guy works by touching these two leads together. I should get a resistance of almost zero, which we are. And then I'm not sure how we'll be able to do this on camera, but I'm going to touch those two leads on separate ones right in there. And we'll read what we're getting. So got the leads right on. And our resistance is 2.2 ohms for cylinder number two. And so that's how you do this check. And thanks for watching.